Hey, uh, good morning. Hey, I was wondering if you could go down to the bottom of the screen and spell out your name. People seem to be a little bit confused on how to pronounce or spell your name. So if you could go do that, that'd be great. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for doing that. I, I know I was the reason behind everyone kind of getting your name wrong and it's just the way I say it. So I'm really sorry, dude. I, I hope you can forgive me. Thanks. Well, what was funny is a lot of people thought your name was Jenkins, like old man Jenkins from Scooby-Doo. <laughs> Wait a second. Jaken is supposed to have the day off today. Jenkins! Hello everyone and welcome to the finale of the Heroes Feast series we are doing on this channel. Today we get to find out which race is going to come out on top with having the best food overall in this cookbook. We are on the dessert portion of the tournament today which sadly is the last portion of the tournament. It has been such an amazing experience for me to see a series actually start and end. I don't get to see that very often with my content creations because one, I get really excited when I think of a new idea. So excited where I really push myself and burn myself out. And a lot of you may notice that with our d, &D sessions, but I'm working on it. But it has been so awesome and such a learning experience for me to be able to finish a series in a healthy way. And the best thing about it is I had all of your support the whole way. You guys like the video commented on them. These were these are some of your favorite videos on this channel and that makes me so happy. And I got to thank Jaken, my editor, dude. Thank you for taking the time to help me with these videos and also thank you to my players for coming over and taste testing the food that I have prepared blood, sweat and tears for and I have put all of my soul into those dishes and I, I, I serve them on a golden platter for them and what do I get? I get zero! I'm sorry, I'm still bitter about the bread video. <laughs> and one last big thank you to our channel memberships and our patrons for making this series happen. Without them, the Heroes Feast series would not have happened. So make sure you guys give them a big thank you. Now that the mushy stuff is out of the way, let's jump into the finale. Jacob, hit them with the explanation video. Go! Ow! I said hit them. Oh, sorry. Here's your face. The Heroes Feast cookbook is divided into sections, with four of them focusing on a specific race found in D&D. &D. Each race section has at least an appetizer, bread, main course, and dessert that you can choose from. So what we're doing is choosing one food dish from each race category and putting them up against the other races to figure out which dish is the best out of the four. And in the end, we're going to find out which race has the best food overall. Just some rules, I must follow whatever the cooking directions say, no adding my own twists to food. And also the food has to look like it came from that race as well. I have four taste testers who are going to do a blind test of each. They will give me a scale of 1 to 10 on how much they like the food. And for fun, they will also have to guess where it came from. Okay, that's it. Bye. So just like the main course video, I'm not going to tell you which food came from what race. You'll find out at the very end along with the players as well. It was so much fun reading your guys' predictions and then going back to the comments and editing them when you found out the answers toward the end. And let me show you the dishes we're going to be making today. We have this one. This one, this one, and lastly, this one. Go ahead and place your bets on which food came from what race, and let's jump into making these sweet treats. So the first thing we're gonna make is the pie, and this isn't gonna be a shocker to a lot of you, I have never made a pie in my life. Yes, you heard that right, and you heard that right in every other episode that I have done where I have said I've never made this before in my life. Wow, shocker. <laughs> I actually bought double stuff just in case I screwed up the pie. <laughs> so if this one works, I'm gonna make another pie off camera and feed it to myself. So the first thing I need to do is to put the pie crust into the pie tin. I feel like now, now that I'm starting to make these videos, I feel like I'm always walking on eggs because there's a lot of people who are professional chefs who watch my stuff. And I'm sorry <laughs> for what you have to experience, but that's the, the fun of it. Again, not everyone's gonna be professional at baking. Not everyone's gonna be good at baking when they cook 
This is like an average guy. I'm an average guy. And this is average cooking. This is mostly what you will see in the kitchen when someone's trying to cook. I... Motherfricker, I... Ah! Oh, this is why I bought extra stuff. The dough already is fetching rip... Maybe, maybe it's a good thing that the series is ending, all right? Can something go good in one of these videos? Like, can something actually go right? Because the very first thing I do, and it wasn't even my fault, the, the pie pastry rips. Think? It looks like I'm not making another pie. Stay. Oh, oh my gosh, please. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. Did it, first try. I'm having all the pie people yelling at me right now. I, I can feel it. I can feel it coming through the camera. The video hasn't even released yet for me, but I already feel the judgment. A pie. Got my apples and... Uh, this is the fourth stupid episode. You think I would learn to read the directions. All right, well, I'm gonna go peel all these apples now. Okay, that's a lot more apples than I thought there were gonna be. <laughs> Let's, oh, son of a gun. Oh, it broke. Oh, by the way, I am wearing the Snow White apron. A lot of people told me to wear it this time, so I am. And so you can see there's Snow White and there's the little cabin and on it has a bunch of quotes from Snow White. There you go, that's it. <laughs> apples have been microwaved with the cinnamon and everything and oh, it smells like apple cider and oh, it's so good. The, the whole apartment right now just smells like apple cider and it's just, oh. Okay, next I got to do kind of like the base of the pie which revolves around using blackberries. Yes. Oh, this looks so good. Oh, I'm so excited. Yes, there we go, baby. Now I spread it on the dough. Okay, now we now we put it on the dough. I don't know why I'm getting so excited about a pie. Like, I just am. This is fun. Let's scatter this along the bottom. <laughs> this is so exciting. Cool. Actually, I, I want to try an apple. That tasted like I just ate something healthy but didn't get the health factor from it, if that makes sense. Now that's what the pie looks with the apples on top. Yes. Oh, it worked! Yay! Aha! Look! I did it! All right, and the pie is ready to go into the oven. All right, the timer just went off for the pie. Let's see how it turned out. Oh! I did it! I cooked my very first pie! So the pie finally cooled down. And I get to try it. And I'm so excited. I can't wait. This is my first pie and it looks like it turned out amazing. Please turn out good. Please, I beg of you. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, look at that. First bite of the pie, I'm gonna try to get everything, get some of the crust, get some of the apple and the blackberry. That's a good pie. This is so nice to be able to eat one of my creations. First, when it's ready. Oh, this is just, oh. Mm -hmm. I give this a 10 out of 10, cause I made it. Okay, so moving on to the gingerbread men, I did not realize how complex they are to make them, again. This guy has never made gingerbread cookies before in his life. Surprised you shouldn't be. Also, I think this is the first time I'm actually having like homemade gingerbread cookies too. But yeah, just to give you an example, here's everything I had to use. Like I was saying, here's everything I already had to use for the dry stuff. Here's what it looks like inside of the KitchenAid. I haven't even put in the liquid stuff yet or even decorated it. The this does ask for a food processor. And you know back in the bread video, I used a food processor, right? Well, guess what? That food processor exploded <laughs> like the third time we used it. I'll give you a good demonstration. Jaken, come here. So Jaken is gonna act as the food processor and this is what happened to him. 
crazy, right? So I'm gonna mix all the ingredients up in here, and then I, after I mix everything up, I gotta put all the liquids in. Oh my gosh! I knew I had to get the liquids ready and everything, but I didn't realize how much liquids it asked of just a few things. For instance, it calls for 12 tablespoons of butter. That's a stick and a half of butter. Not only that, it asks for two thirds cup of dark molasses. That's just straight sugar. And then we got milk and vanilla. But like, can you guess which race these gingerbread men are based off of? Just off of these two things? Because I can, and they're messed up. <laughs> I, no joke, am gonna put my taste testers in a cookie coma. These gingerbread men, actually, someone needs to stat that right now. Coma and dosed gingerbread men. Coma dough. You know what goes great with coma dough? Coma toast. <laughs> Jacob, you like that joke, right? Well, come on, it was a good joke. Oh, what, like you can do better? You want to say that again? That's what I thought. Give me your face. So the dough's been sitting in the refrigerator for over an hour now, and I have lied to all of you. I got you, I pranked you guys so hard. We're not making gingerbread man. No, we're making gingerbread dinosaurs. Also, these are the cookie cutters we have, and they're awesome and adorable. Now, I'm gonna pop these in the oven for about 11 minutes. And there they are. See, we got the foot, the T-Rex, this thing, a baby T-Rex, and a pterodactyl. Now we're <laughs> now we're on to making the frosting. And what does it call for? More sugar! It's just going around the ah! Alright, now I gotta make like the little crumbly things on top of it, like the, the garnish. So it calls for raisins and some walnuts. The cookies are now baked, and now <laughs> I felt like such a cooking show. The cookies are now baked, and now we're gonna add the frosting. Frosting, grabbing. And that's what they're gonna look like in the end. Look like now the I get to try one, and I'm very excited. Let's give this a shot. Crunch. I mean, it's a gingerbread cookie with frosting and almonds and raisins. I, that's really about it. Nothing mind-blowing from it. Okay, now moving on to this fruit salad thing. I don't know what it's called. So the first thing I got to do is cut up about like two cups of strawberries. But before I do that, Jaken, come here. Now, Jaken, last video, everyone was getting mad at me because you kept getting cut off when you were trying to tell everyone about yourself. Oh, it was my fault. Really? Well, why didn't you, when you were editing the video, make the clips a little bit longer so you could actually tell people about yourself? Ah, got you there. That's why this is my channel. <laughs> Sorry, I did not like say that. Jaken, I love you. I hope you know that, okay? Cool. Strawberries are cut up, now it's time to take all this and Put it into there. This looks nothing like the photo. It's so runny. In all my life, I never thought I'd actually grate chocolate in here. Or grate chocolate in my life. And that's it. That's how you make this dessert. It's one of the easiest dishes I probably have ever made on this series. Beautiful. Bon appetit me. Ladies and gentlemen, I just made a fruit salad. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting. I really don't know what I was expecting with that. Yeah, it's just a fruit salad. I mean, it's not bad, but <laughs> still. And now for the very last dish we are gonna make on this series is gonna be over on the stove. So I'll see you guys over there. All right, let's get started.
the last four dishes have been prepared. Now, let's move over to our taste testers to find out which race has the best food overall. Please welcome back our taste testers, Michael, Andrew, Peter, and Amy. They already know what's going on. Get those masks on. Let's enjoy some desserts. That was really dumb. <laughs> Did you, where did your glasses go? They're, they're just eating them. In your well, it sounded like they shattered. Oh. <laughs> it scared me for a second, not gonna lie. I present to you Santa's favorite snack. Gingerbread cookies. Cannibalism. <laughs> so I feared for Michael's life, so I replaced Andrew, so. <laughs> 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 I love it. Mm -hmm. I heard the crunch. It reminds me of Christmas. God bless us, everyone! <laughs> Alright, Tiny Tim. Mmm, <laughs> they're really good though. The fact that they're named Ben mm -hmm. must be human mm. because we are prideful enough to replicate something of us in a cookie form. It's really easy to go bad with uh, gingerbread cookies. Like, too dry. I believe oh, those are referred to as biscuits. Ha! <laughs> Biscuit butter! <laughs> are as there nuts on top of, of the cookie? Mm, that's really I good. I can't like, Professor, I'm really fine. Have a biscuit! Okay, you'll have to send me this recipe. You're getting a high score. Mm. It's like a weird combination of both crunchy and soft. And that's why, well, that's what I was trying to say. I love it. It's not too crunchy. Give me a scale of one to ten. Three, two, one. Nine. Nine. Nine three, two, one. Ten. Oh, okay. Is there a high five? Yep, there yep, yep, there. Okay. <laughs> Come back! <laughs> Thank you. That was I was like... <laughs> I didn't know it was gonna... I didn't want to hit anyone. <laughs> I didn't want to hit him in the face. Now clear uh -huh. yourselves for a... Salad soup? A, a porridge. A salad soup? You just eat it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Just eat the Get dish. in my belly. Welcome to my house for desserts. Here's a salad soup. <laughs> also, okay. I just wanted to say, Duke technically just spooned us. Can I be the little spoon? Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah, you can be the little spoon. Oh no, I'm the big spoon. Oh my gosh! Yes, I'm the little spoon. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm so afraid. I'm gonna put it on my face. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, I got that on my chin. But I like it. It's like a parfait without the nuts or the granola, I mean. It's good. You know what? It's like a parfait. Everybody, Everybody loves parfait. <laughs> I feel Get like on the green! <laughs> <laughs> Even the cream stuff is pretty light. It's fluffy. It's stuff. Is this like, is there cream cheese in this? Like, it's fluffy feeling. Mm -hmm. The floof. Mm -hmm. It's yummy. It is very, very good. I don't, I don't like it as much as the cookies, but it's yummy. I'll, I'll venture to say I like it a little bit more because it's very refreshing. It's like, it's sweet, but it's like, I can pretend like it's healthy. You know, it's. <laughs> you know, I, I realized when I was cooking this, I could put anything in front of you guys, but you wouldn't know what I. Which still That's probably. the point. It. Yeah. Mmm. This is different. This is. <laughs> That's just, literally my in search for my orthotics. Like, <laughs> like ew, gross. Peter would be like, I love this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is really good. I get the parfait vibe, but like a healthy parfait. Yeah. Like one that's actually healthy yeah. and not preservatives. All right, give me a scale of one to ten. Ten. I'm gonna give that a six. Eight. Uh, seven. Yeah. Pour in stuff you were working on on the, on the stove. <laughs> that bitch. Sure. Yeah. Oh, oh, smoosh. Yeah. This is less um, smoosh. Oh, that's okay. hot. Is this open? That's yummy. Is it bad? This, this, this is dessert, but it reminds me of breakfast back home. This is like a scout camp breakfast. Mm -hmm. Would you say porridge is a good comfort food dessert thing? Because that would be halfway. But yet porridge would seem more of a dwarven thing. I don't know. Elven There's nuts. the brown sugar. I found it. Oh, I good. found my brown sugar. The gingerbread. I could technically okay. see them, that being the elves. Okay. Because, you know, I'm gonna ask why. Elves 
Santa Claus, do you not see the correlation? I'll be honest with you. I don't normally like oatmeal. I like brown sugar, but this is pretty good. Give me sugary desserts, goodness. I <laughs> Sugary sugar dessert goodness. goodness. <laughs> All right, great scale one to 10. Three, two, one. Eight. I would also say an eight. Nine. Eight. Nine. For the last dish, I've prepared for you a little slice of heaven. Uh -oh. I'm gonna die. Is it cake? Oh. Is it pie? Yes. I I'm, like I'm pie. assuming it is. Is this carrot cake? Dwarven? Are they more pie? The pie, these have like apples and berries. Mm -hmm. Dwarves, their pie would not be as True. fruity. True. I feel like I'm cheating now. I feel like I'm lessening this experience for me. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like if dwarves did a pie, mm -hmm. it would be a meat pie. Mm. Like um, some type of chicken pot pie or something, mm -hmm. but that would be mm -hmm. in meals. Yeah, give me a scale of one to 10, three, two, one. 10. Nine. I like pie. Nine. Seven and a half. No, pie. okay, seven. All right, take off your mess. Porridge-esque thing. That was good, I did like that. Also, that does look like a reindeer. I was right. Um, It's a dinosaur. I tricked you! You see, you Suck are- Suck it! <laughs> it just looks like this something has, swap yeah. on a dwarf's plate. Like, I so can't true. swap I'm trying this to think for of, halfling. Cause like, their appetizers, their little snack things, everything. We're all putting it together now. Okay, grab your humans. <laughs> Choose the human dish in three, <sighs> two, one. <sighs> one. Elven dish in three, two, one. One. Grab your dwarfs. Three, two, one. <laughs> one. We got it. Lastly, half legs. Three, two, one. Ah. Two, one. Two, one. Like always, consistency. <laughs> consistency. All right. Okay. Any of you guys want to switch? No, we're no, going. We're going to go with it. We're sticking with this okay. one. Okay. I'm Andrew. Do you want to switch again? <laughs> He's not even giving me the option anymore. He's like, Michael, you suck. It's fine. <laughs> for consistency's sake, no. Andrew's and it, yeah, it, it has to be for consistency. We've always chosen the exact opposite for human and halfling. <laughs> Peter and I are going to go down to history as the people who work together. <laughs> All right. Starting from your guys' right to left. That is gingerbread men or gingerbread dinosaurs. And that comes from the human. Yes! Finally! <laughs> from the humans. Yes, oh my gosh, thank goodness. I knew we were too prideful to not do yeah. something yeah, yeah, for yeah, us. Yeah. <laughs> the second one is called Meal's End, and that comes from the elves. Okay, okay, okay. The elves. Oh, oh thank goodness. Oh. Oh, thank okay, goodness. those are the two we knew. <laughs> this one, it's gonna give it away right in the name. Gully Ha Dwarf. Oh my gosh. Home style porn. Did we get all Dwarf homestyle porridge. And lastly, with a queen sweep, finally. I know, right? What? The yeah. Heartlands Rose Apple and Blackberry Pie comes from the Halflings. You earned it. You deserve it. Yeah, deserve I was like, it. it's been a yeah. It's been a long time coming. <laughs> and the last yes. one is. Heartlands, Rose Apple, and Blackberry. Oh, pie. oh yeah, baby. You know what's funny? Mm. Andrew's gonna be pissed. Because <laughs> <He's laughs> no, Michael one. got it all right, and both of you <laughs> got it all right. The tournament has been complete, but before we find out the total scores for each race, let's recap a few things. The player who got the most correct answers for the races was Peter with nine, Amy and Andrew with eight, and Michael with seven. For the appetizers, the dwarves won that one with their plate of gold dish, winning by nine points. The bread was won by the humans with their red bread, only winning by one point. The humans also won the main course dish with their ribs, only winning by two points. And now for the desserts. The humans won this round once again with their gingerbread men, winning by three points. All of the scores have been added. Let's find out which race has the best food overall. Coming in in fourth place with 104 points is the Elves. Coming in at third place with 123 points is the Halflings. Coming in at second place with 125 points 
is the dwarves. And in first place, with 128 points, the winner of the Heroes Feast series is the humans. Thank you all so very much for watching this series and big thank you to uh, my taste testers for coming over and you know, dealing with me and having to come over and just bear the burden of eating the food I have provided for them. Uh, please go watch the other- Bear the burden. <laughs> Apparently I had to. Duke Share the load. Well, we gotta thank Duke. We gotta give a little claps for Duke for bearing the burden of listening to our critiques. There we go. Round of applause. Still bitter about the bread video. Sorry. Bro. Anyway, <laughs> it's not my fault. I love you guys. Oh, yeah. I love you too, Duke. Go watch the other videos over on Andrew's face. Go watch the first video over on Michael's face. Go watch the other video. We love you guys. Appreciate you. See ya. Get out. <laughs> <laughs>